This the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today I'm here with another Survivor Let's Play. And today we're going to be looking at Preparation Day. Because right now I'm getting ready to complete our Tier 2. Tier 2. Tier two. Got tongue tied. We're going to be working on Tier 2 for our Destructor on Dubai. So we can get him, hopefully, as soon as possible, slash her, since we're going to have Captain Zeta in there soon. However, it's Preparation Day, and I need to get as many cans as possible for that Guild Raid. So today, today's episode is just pretty much just about getting as many cans as possible. So, I'm going to be looking at, I believe I'm going to be looking at Istanbul. Yeah, so I'm going to be farming on Istanbul because I'm going to be getting about 300 cans per raid, per win, pretty much. So, that's pretty much my main source of cans at the moment. I'm pretty sure there's a better one, but right now I'm just using Istanbul as mine. But I'm going to keep looking for better options. But right now I'm getting 300 cans out of this, so I'm just rolling with that. So, let's defend and get to it, see what we're going to do. It's not Byzantine, it's Istanbul. That's what it says. Alrighty here. That's what we got. Um, oh, we got Titans on here. I forgot about these. Good thing is we have Sharpshooters. Sharpshooters will help me out a ton. Wow, I don't, it seems like forever ago since I did this one. Alright, I don't even know how I'm going to do TBH. So I'm actually going to put some of my Spec Ops back here. I'm going to use my borrowed machine gunner for that. And then my usual... Fire Chief and Lumberjack. So let's continue putting down some more of these troops. And as you guys can see, I actually am back on the iPad, thankfully. Because I went on a little adventure today, got it, and now I'm back. I had to travel for many miles to get it. But it's back, and we're all good to go now, so I'm happy about that. But let's put down the rest of these troops right here. Got a solid squad going, and we're going to need that machine gunner right there as well. And depending on how this setup right here does i might add some more troops but for now this is all i'm going to use so let's get these hordes running so we got them coming out from these two specific spots right now hopefully we can take out those titans those titans are going to be our key problem so we got to get those out as fast as possible thankfully these snipers are handling them just fine with the help of the machine gunners so i'm not worried about that whatsoever that's pretty much what you need, guys. For Titans, when you do come against them, you're definitely going to need at least a sniper or a high-leveled outlaw to take them out because most other um, people won't be able to even take them out. They won't even be able to cause damage because Titans are armored. As you can see, they have the little plate on them. Here, let me zoom in on here, and you can take a look at them. When they spawn right over here, where is he? There's one. There he is. See? He's armored, and he's pretty hard to take out, but with a sharpshooter or something like that, no problem at all. Cake. So I'm actually going to see, where, on, where are we on wave 3? I'm just going to get my Mazda cocktail back here then. And it looks like we're just about to finish it out. Oh, got it. So there we go. Three stars. And that is 300 cans. Well, 500, but I'm getting, I'm investing 200. But let's continue on and get a few more attacks in. All right, so ugh, I want to keep doing, I want to get that objective done, but not yet, not yet. So let's collect some rewards. Here we go. Nothing too exciting there. So let's go check out the other locale. Oh, I already used it. Oh, I guess I forgot to collect. But let's go back to Istanbul and get two more attacks in real quick. It's not Byzantine. It's, just, it's Istanbul. Istanbul. I'm going to keep saying that. Uh, I just get a kick out of it. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. Two hospitals, I believe, are in the same. Yep, same area. So I'm actually going to put, I'm going to double up. Here we go. I'm going to try this out. I don't know if this is going to be good or not, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to actually put my snipers here. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. Total defense right here. Nobody's going to pass. All right, and then I'm going to put, I'm just trying this out. I want to try something different right, right here. And then I'm going to send these guys back all the way. And then I'm just going to start the waves. I want to get everyone right here. Come on. Everybody right on that wall. Alright, so I'm just stupidly not putting any more troops anywhere, trying to save energy, but I want to see if this works, because I'm interested in see if my troops are powerful enough, and this defense is a good setup, that'll be able to help, because I have my fire chiefs up front, so they can help take any damage that needs to be taken, and then I have my machine gunners and snipers in the back, take out the titans, so far it's looking good, I mean as long as my um, people can just stay alive, they'll be good. So as you saw, the machine gunner wasn't able to cause any damage at all to anybody. What are these guys doing? 
<sighs> I hate it when these spitters are just like around these corners and they're just chilling out. All right, fire chief going down. Putting down some more fire chiefs. <sighs> spitters are annoying because they just like hide right around these corners and they just sit there. They don't do anything. All right, so let's see if we get any more. Got some runners in here just chilling out. If we get any spitters, I'm going to throw down my Molotov cocktail. But until then, there we go. Go away. Down goes that spitter. Come on, take out that other spitter. He's right there. Got to sickle that. They're just camping out right here, not doing anything. <sighs> Such a pain. All right, they'll, they'll come out eventually. Because once they take out that fire chief, they're not they're not going to sit there much longer. Get sniped. Throw down my Stimzy on my guys right there. And we're just about to finish them out right now. Down goes his last few drones. Bop. There he goes. Cleared three stars. I'm pr I think that was a good setup right there. Just machine gunners are so good. I'm a fan. Big fan. Say hi to everybody. Uh sup, Nick. Thanks. Guild is looking pretty good, guys. Take a look right here. Zombie Nation Nation. We just hit level eleven. Got a new perk. Let's see what that was. Cause I don't remember. Yeah, plus five percent on victory points. That's nice. And we're slowly getting on our way to level twelve. Got a solid guild right now. Everybody's looking good. Got some great members in here. Still got some recruits in here. But hey, we're looking good. Let's get one more attack in right here. So let's defend it. Get three hundred more cans and continue on. Continue on our quest to the destructor. All right, so let's see how are we got how are these hospitals set up? All right, interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so with this, I'm just gonna put one machine gunner, fire chief, lumberjack, of course. I'm gonna put a spec ops in there for the titans, and I'm gonna throw in a gun. I'm gonna put in a gunslinger, gunslinger, not a gunfighter, gunslinger. It's just that fancy, guys. It is. All right, so actually, oh dang it. Oh wait, no, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so all we have is um spitters and stupid drones. So what are we going to have to do here? What are we going to have to do? Because I don't want that spitter just to camp out in the back and just take out these guys. I'm just going to put a gunslinger, and I'm feeling good that they'll be able to handle it. Since it's only one K one wave coming in from there. But on this side, the other hand, we're going to need some snipers. All right, so let's get the machine gunner. Lumberjack and fire chief here. Let's get them right over here. And nope, back. I want you to stay there. And then I'm going to get in my spec ops. Just finish off the spec ops right there. And I believe those are the only spawn points and all we need to worry about. So let's start these waves up. And I'm actually going to only focus on this wave because I'm pretty sure the other wave over there is just going to be fine. I just want to see how this holds up right here. This is what this is the side I am personally worried about. So we're going, we're doing fine. I need, come on, spec ops, do your job. Take out that, take them out, take them out, please. Whew. All right, slowly but surely working our way. Oi, do some more work out there. Look at those spitters just being annoying. All right, so let's focus on this area now. This is the area that I was worried about the most because of those spitters that are just going to be camping out there and just causing problems. All right, so let's stim up this area right here. <sighs> spitters, spitters, spitters. You're so annoying. Look at that. I was right. They cause problems. All right. Put down a squad. Machine gunner. What do you... Machine gunner AI needs to be fixed. It really does. Whew. Machine gunner just get set, please. Go away. All right, there we go. We took out the spitter, so it's all good. Machine gunners have to go ape right here. He's going to have to go off. And let's put down, throw down some mercenaries right here. Oh, goodness gracious. I forgot to put something down. Oh, take him out fast so I can throw down my spec ops, please. Oh, God. Grave mistake, grave mistake. Whew. That was stressful. I had a moment of stress right there because my Titan was just there and I had nothing to help him out with. All right, there we go. Finished it off. That was clutch. That was a clutch raid. I don't know what I was doing. A little brain fart there, but hey, we got it. We clutched it out with that last minute thinking. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this episode, my Let's Play with the Survivors. Um, Yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.